LibreOffice 25.8 3 is now officially available. And this update brings a wide range of important improvements that every user should know about. In this detailed video script, I am going to walk you through everything you need to know about this release, including what it means for everyday users, why this version matters, what bugs and issues it fixes, what improvements you'll actually feel in your day-to-day -day work, and why the developers strongly recommend that everyone update as soon as possible. Whether you are a student writing documents, a professional creating spreadsheets, or simply someone who uses LibreOffice occasionally to read and edit files, this update affects you. And so in this complete in-depth script, let's explore the full story behind LibreOffice 25.8. 3. How to update, what changed, and what you can expect afterward. LibreOffice has always been one of the most important open source software projects because it provides a free a fully featured office suite that anyone can use without paying licensing fees. It includes Writer for Documents, Calc for Spreadsheets, Impress for Presentations, Draw for Diagrams, Base for Databases, and Math for Formulas. Millions of users around the world rely on it every day, especially people who prefer open source tools, those using Linux, and users who want an alternative to Microsoft Office. With that in mind, stability and compatibility are extremely important. That is why every update in the LibreOffice series tends to focus on fixing bugs, improving performance, and ensuring that files created in LibreOffice work consistently across different platforms and with different file formats. The 25.8 series is part of the stable release cycle, and 25.83 is the third maintenance update, meaning it is dedicated almost entirely to enhancing reliability and eliminating errors reported by users. This release contains around 70 carefully targeted bug fixes that touch writer, calc, impress, the user interface, file compatibility layers, and the core engine that powers the entire suite. One of the most important areas of improvement in this version is DOCX file handling. Many people work in environments where Microsoft Office formats are required, so LibreOffice must be able to accurately import and export DOCX, XLSX, and PPTX documents. In previous versions, there were a few issues where DOCX files containing certain fonts, colors, or complex layouts did not import perfectly. Some users also experienced problems with text overlay, footnote handling in certain languages, and variable names inside templates. LibreOffice 25.8 3 fixes these issues so that documents move more accurately between LibreOffice and Microsoft Office. If you work in an environment where you receive docs files from coworkers, teachers, or clients, or if you send documents to people who use Word, you will notice that your text formatting is more consistent. Another big focus of this update is improving Writer, the word processor. In many cases, users reported small but annoying issues such as spacing glitches, layout shifts, and incorrect colors. For example, some documents displayed font colors incorrectly when imported from other editors. There were also problems with how headers handled extra white space when auto-fit options were used. These have been corrected in 25.8. 3. Which means documents will appear cleaner and more consistent. Writer also received improvements to change tracking, a feature used heavily by editors, students, and collaborators. When multiple people make changes to a single document, Sometimes this created conflicting track changes data. With this update, change tracking becomes more robust, meaning that you can trust it more during collaborative editing. The update also makes improvements to RTF imports. Some RTF files had issues where paragraphs or tables ended up outside their intended frames, causing documents to look broken or disorganized. This version fixes many of those issues, so RTF documents now appear correctly. Additionally, there were improvements to how SVG graphics are handled, especially regarding bidirectional text support, which matters for languages such as Arabic or Hebrew. Transparency issues with embedded EMF graphics were also resolved, which is very important for Windows users who import graphics created in other programs. All these refinements may seem minor individually, but together they create a noticeably smoother document editing experience. Calc, LibreOffice's spreadsheet program, also receives several crucial fixes. Spreadsheets are extremely sensitive to small calculation errors because even a single incorrect value can affect entire formulas and financial models. LibreOffice 25.8 Three fixes issues involving countifs with decimal numbers. 
Subtotal operations imported from Excel and spreadsheet date handling in cases where Excel's calendar system differed from ODF rules. There were also issues when filtering data or using validation lists, which sometimes caused crashes or unexpected behavior. These fixes ensure that complex spreadsheets work more reliably, especially when moving back and forth between Excel and LibreOffice. Pivot table behaviors were also improved so that selecting items after creating a pivot table works as expected. If you rely on calc for office work, accounting, school assignments, or large data manipulation, these improvements will make your experience smoother and more predictable. Impress, the presentation software, has also been polished in this update. Some users reported pixelated slideshows when starting a full screen presentation using the F5 key. This could be distracting or unprofessional during a real presentation. Version 25.8 3 resolves this issue, meaning your slides will appear crisp and clean. Problems with printing notes, saving PPTX files, and rendering embedded multimedia objects were also addressed. These changes make Impress more dependable, especially for people who create presentations for work, conferences, or educational settings. Beyond application-specific fixes, LibreOffice 25.8 3 includes wide improvements to the core engine. Crashes related to macros, templates, and extensions were investigated and corrected. Problems with vertical writing, especially for users working in East Asian languages, were fixed so documents no longer crash or display incorrectly. User interface elements such as arrow previews, dialogue previews, and page corners were refined for a smoother visual experience. On Mac OS, the icon themes received updates, so they better support dark mode and upcoming system changes expected in newer versions of Mac OS. If you use LibreOffice on a Mac, you should see better visual consistency. One important thing to note is that Windows 32-bit builds are now deprecated. This means LibreOffice is transitioning toward exclusively supporting 64-bit systems on Windows. If you are still using a 32-bit Windows installation, it is recommended to upgrade your system to a 64-bit version because future LibreOffice releases may stop supporting 32-bit entirely. This change should not affect most modern users, but it is something to keep in mind if you use older hardware or older versions of Windows. With all these improvements, it's clear why LibreOffice recommends that all users update 225.8. 3. The update increases stability, compatibility, and performance across the board. Even if you have not personally experienced any issues, updating ensures that you receive all the refinements and fixes introduced since earlier versions of the 25.8 series. The software becomes more predictable, files open with better accuracy, and you are less likely to experience crashes or formatting errors during important tasks. If you are ready to update, the process is simple. On Windows, you can go to the official LibreOffice's website. Download the latest installer, and run it after closing any open LibreOffice applications. On Mac OS, you simply download the DMG file, drag the LibreOffice icon into your Applications folder, and replace the previous version. On Linux, you have a few choices. You can wait for your distribution to update the version in its repository, or you can manually download the DEB or RPM packages from the website. Many users prefer the repository method because it integrates with system updates, but manual installation is always available for those who want the newest version immediately. After updating, it is a good idea to open some of your most frequently used documents to make sure everything behaves as expected. If you use macros, extensions, or templates, check that they still function properly. Normally, minor updates like 25.8.3 do not break compatibility, but if you rely heavily on automation or third-party extensions, it is always wise to verify. If you share documents with colleagues who use Microsoft Office, try sending a DOCX, XLS, X, or PPTX file to confirm that formatting remains consistent. You may notice that layouts hold up better now, especially in documents with tables, headers, tracked changes, or special characters. Another thing worth understanding is how this release fits into LibreOffice's update cycle. Each branch of LibreOffice has a scheduled lifespan during which it receives regular bug fixes before it reaches its end of life. The 25.8 series is supported for many more months, which means any issues found in 25.8, 3 will likely be fixed in later. 
Updates such as 25.84 or 25.85. If you remain on older, unsupported versions, you may miss out on these improvements. For production environments where stability is crucial, staying on a supported branch is extremely important. Users who require enterprise-level stability and support can also consider the LibreOffice Enterprise versions provided by certified partners, but for most regular users, the community edition is sufficient. One thing many users may appreciate is the performance improvements that come indirectly from bug fixes. Faster file import and cleaner rendering reduce the time it takes to open large documents or spreadsheets. If you work with massive datasets in calc or documents containing many images, charts, or embedded objects, these performance refinements can save a lot of time and reduce frustration. Even on older hardware, LibreOffice tends to become more efficient with every update because developers constantly optimize the code. Another real-world improvement users may notice after updating is better PDF export behavior. Many professionals and students rely on LibreOffice to generate PDFs for sharing reports, resumes, assignments, or forms. In earlier versions, exporting complex documents to PDF sometimes caused spacing issues or missing elements. While these were uncommon, they were frustrating when they happened. The improvements in this update make PDF export more reliable, especially for documents containing graphics, or multilingual text. For multilingual users, especially speakers of Arabic, Hebrew, Japanese, or Chinese, this update provides benefits as well. Improved rendering of vertical text. Better Unicode, BD support and corrections to language, specific layout issues ensure that LibreOffice behaves more predictably. If you write bilingual or multilingual documents, you may notice smoother editing and fewer glitches. Users on Mac OS, may notice visual refinements such as improved dark mode icons and better compatibility with newer macOS releases. These changes help LibreOffice feel more integrated into the macOS ecosystem. LibreOffice 25.8 3 is not a feature release. It does not introduce new tools, new menus, or new functions. Instead, it makes the existing version stronger, cleaner, and more stable. You might compare it to tightening all the bolts in a machine that already works well. Some users underestimate the importance of maintenance updates, but in reality, they are essential because they deal with real-world bugs reported by thousands of users. Without these maintenance releases, the software would stagnate and errors would accumulate over time. That's why installing this update is so important for maintaining a smooth experience. If you're updating from a much older LibreOffice version, you may notice the cumulative improvements made throughout the 25.8 series. These include faster loading of large spreadsheets, more responsive text rendering, improved accessibility features, smoother scrolling, and better table behavior in Writer. Even if you update regularly, you will still appreciate how stable and refined this new version feels. Once you install the update, I recommend taking a few minutes to explore the settings. Check your extensions, review your templates, and test your favorite workflows. This helps you verify that everything works exactly how you want it. It gives you confidence that your editor is reliable for upcoming tasks or projects. If you have older extensions that haven't been updated in years, consider replacing them with newer alternatives because outdated extensions can sometimes cause unpredictable behavior. In the long run, staying up to date with LibreOffice updates also improves your digital safety. Even though this release is not marketed as a security update, Bug fixes often include corrections to unexpected crashes, memory handling issues, or file parsing problems that could theoretically be exploited. Updating ensures that you are running the most hardened and stable version available. LibreOffice remains one of the best examples of how open source software can deliver powerful tools for free while also giving users transparency and choice. By updating to 25.83, you support the ongoing development of the project. Because widespread testing and usage help developers identify remaining issues, make improvements, and create better future releases. To wrap up LibreOffice 25.8, 3 is a highly recommended update for everyone. It strengthens document compatibility, improves spreadsheet accuracy, enhances presentation rendering, eliminates crashes, refinements the user interface, and ensures the Office Suite remains stable across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Whether you are a student, professional, content creator, or casual user, applying this update will help you avoid bugs, prevent formatting issues, and enjoy a more reliable experience. If you enjoy content like this, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below with your thoughts about LibreOffice, or let me know if you want a full deep dive video on all the major features introduced in the entire 25.8 series. Updating your tools ensures you stay productive, efficient, and ahead of problems. In LibreOffice 25.8, 3 is a perfect example of why staying current is so valuable.